Hey everyone, and welcome back to the NNS Explained series. Last time we learned how you can participate in the NNS DAO by voting with your neurons. Today we want to learn how you can uh, delegate your voting power, which is called following in the NNS DAO, to someone else. So this is useful if you don't have time or the expertise to vote on all the proposals. Maybe you're planning some holiday and you want to make sure that you're not missing out on voting rewards, even though you don't have time to vote on proposals every day. This might also be useful if you just trust others to make better decisions on certain topics. Maybe you know some experts um, with respect to certain topics and you just want to delegate the voting power to them. So let's look today at how you can do that. So I'm already logged into the NNS step. I'm here on the neuron staking page and I have two neurons. I have one neuron here at the bottom that is controlled by the principle with which I'm currently logged in. And I have another neuron for which this principle just have, has hotkey privileges. But this means that the pr principle uh, I am logged in with can vote with this neuron and can also change its following. So I already thought about how I would like to set this up. And what I want to do is uh, the top neuron is what I call my main neuron. With this neuron, I might every now and then vote manually. And I might also change more frequently, like who I want to follow, who I trust, uh, with which votes by observing what is going on in the NNS DAO. In order not to having to repeat that for all neurons, what I want to do for the second neuron is I just always want to do the same as with the first neuron. And this is what we now want to set up together. So let's first click on my main neuron and see what is there at the moment. I can go to the following part and I see it being empty because I deliberately cleaned that up before so we can set it up together. We can now click on follow neurons and what we see here is uh, a list of all the topics where I can set following for. So for each of those topics, I can uh, see a description of what this is about and I can say add followees. And here I can now enter any idea of any neuron that exists to follow it. Or I can choose here um, one of the neurons that is registered in the NNS DAO. So these are called known neurons and they have registered in the NNS governance by submitting a proposal and by being adopted by others. And this is why for those neurons, we also see a name. So let's now go back and think a little bit about what we want to do. So I could for each of those topics, make an individual choice what I want to do. But what I want to do instead is I want to say that for most of the topics, and actually there is this uh, catch all, I want to follow the same neuron. So as you can see, it's not quite all topics because it says all except governance and SNS and neurons fund. So that means that if I choose to follow a neuron here, then whenever there's a proposal of any topic except the top two here, um, then uh, there would also be a vote cast for me. So let's make a choice here. Just for simplicity, um, let me choose the Definity Foundation here. I choose that I want to follow Definity. And this is now being processed and this choice is being added to my neuron. So now I'm already covered for all the topics except for governance and SNS and neurons fund. Therefore, for these two, I also want to make a choice because I want to make sure I'm not missing out on the rewards. So here, uh, this is now the governance topic here. I would like to follow a synapse. Uh, maybe you have to be careful. This is actually the new one. There's also an old one which hasn't been deregistered yet because that's not yet supported. Um, so let's be careful and choose the new one. I think this should be the right one to follow. And again, this is processed and you can now see that I'm following one other neuron on governance um, and for SNS and neurons fund. Actually for this one, I would like to make my own decisions and I'm positive that I'll not miss any proposal. So I don't want to do any following for that one. 
So now I should already be covered for most of the topics. But what I can now also do is I can now uh, let me choose something here for the ICOA selection. So this is whenever a new replica version is elected so that later the platform can update to it, it would be of this proposal. And now I heard that CodeGov um, is also making a good job in verifying these proposals. So for this kind of proposals, I actually would like to follow them. So let me put that in. Again, this is being processed and the governance is adding this to my neuron in the background. All right. And now what's interesting to know is if I have this setting, so recall that I follow CodeGov on the ICOS version election and I follow Definity on this catch-all. So what happens now if there is a proposal of this kind uh, ICOS version election? In this case, if Definity votes, this would not affect my neuron because the catch-all just means that this following that I uh, chose here is applied to all the topics where I don't have another choice. So in particular, in the case of ICOS version election, um, only CodeGov would influence my neuron, but not anything else. What we can also do is we can add multiple neurons for the same topic and actually up to 15. So I could also say that I uh, trust, for example, um, let's just make a random choice, the Elna uh, AI. And I can add much, uh, many more uh, neurons here. Now, the important thing to know is that what this means is that my vote will be cast if at least half of my choices here vote in the same way. So in this case, um, if both of them vote yes, a yes vote would be cast for me. But if one of them votes no and one of them votes yes, a no vote would be cast for me because if at least half of them vote no, then a no vote would be cast for me. However, for the yes vote, it has to be more than half of them voting yes. So if only one of them votes yes and the other one doesn't vote, no vote would be cast for me. And with this, it's actually sometimes better to have less followees rather than more, because you can imagine if you have 10 a list of 10 different follow followees here, then actually at least six of them have to vote yes for you to actually cast a yes vote. And at least five of them have to vote no for you to cast a no vote. So it might be more likely that you send a vote if you follow less uh, different neurons. But this is of course up to you, but it's just important to notice how this works. All right, so I think we're good for the moment. Again, maybe I will change that later here with the ICOS version election. Um, but for now, I think I'm good, uh, even though I follow two different uh, neurons here. So I made a little bit random choices now, just for illustrating. Um, and maybe these are not the best choices, which neurons to follow. So let's also briefly look at where you can ma maybe find a little bit more information about who these neurons to follow are. So to learn more about uh, these known neurons, what you can do, for example, is go on the dashboard and then go to the governance page. And you can, for example, click um, on any proposal. Let's maybe take a proposal of the topic governance. So you can, for example, uh, click on any of those. And then um, you can go to the bottom and you see which known neuron voted in which way here on the right. And this can be very useful to get an idea of how these known neurons usually vote um, and whether or not you agree with their behavior, at least in the past. And now we can go to any such neuron and click on it. And you then also see what's the setting of this neuron. For example, how many ICP are staked what's the dissolved de delay of this neuron and so far. So you can learn a little bit more about this neuron and the known neurons will also include a summary, uh, which was added when they registered as a known neuron. 
So you can see this here and you can see a little bit of description of maybe who they are, how they plan to vote, etc. So this is one way of finding out a little bit more about the known neurons. You can also directly query the governance canister to get this information about the known neurons. And of course, it's also useful to just observe a little bit how these known neurons um, participate in governance discussions on the forum and elsewhere. So with this, I want to close my first neuron setup. I'm happy for now. And let's now look how we can set up the following of the second neuron. Recall that I just want to say I want to do exactly the same as with the first neuron always. So again, I can go to the following and I see that it's empty now. <clears throat> so what I can do now is I can follow my other neuron, uh, which means that whatever choice will be applied for my first neuron would also apply here. So to do that before going in here, we actually now need the neuron ID of this other neuron. So let me go back here and you see here on the table, I have the neuron ID here and I can copy it by clicking this button. Now let's go back to the second neuron and to the following. And now in the catch-all, we add a followee. And now we don't make a choice uh, between one of the known neurons, but we just enter our uh, my own neuron ID here <clears throat> and say follow neuron. All right, and now this is already covering the catch-all, but recall that this does not include governance and SNS and neurons fund. So for these two topics, I again go in here, copy my choice and apply it. And also for the SNS one, uh, add followee, I add this and I confirm. All right, and I think with this, we should be set up um, you can now see here in the summary that I follow this neuron ID, which is my main neuron for all of these three topics. And this is exactly what I wanted. If I now change my following for the main neuron tomorrow, the same rules would still be applied for my second neuron. Also, if I manually vote with the first neuron, um, the same would always be applied with the second neuron. And maybe one last thing that I want to mention is, um, what does it mean if I have set up following with regard to whether I can still vote myself? Indeed, you can. So if we go here to the actionable proposals, um, you can see here, I can click on it and I can still adopt or reject the proposal, even if I have following set for this topic. It just means that now that I have set following up, if one of the neurons or all the neurons that I uh, follow voted, then this choice would also be applied for me and afterwards I could not vote anymore. But currently the neurons that I followed on this topic haven't voted yet, so I can still make my own choice. But once they applied their choice, it will be immediately also applied to me and then I cannot override that anymore. I hope this is helpful. I still have four proposals to vote on to So let me get into that. And I hope you now know how following works and enjoyed the video. Have a great day.